Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to another installment of Shoot a Segment. Today is a very special day, all right? They think the big, the East Coast is only the Big Apple, but nah, nah, nah. We're in Connecticut today. Yeah. We're in the A60 yeah. in New Britain at Unknown Clothing. It's a lot of fire in here. Um, it's a really dope store. Make sure y'all tap in with them. And today we have a celebration, and I have the man of the hour, Harford's mm-hmm. own... Biggest yeah. sense can be big BSF for go bass and tell the people what we're celebrating today. Um, long live DJ Shea came out, and for me, like this is the biggest platform I ever been on. And um, just the fact that Shea still touching people through the music even after he passed is a celebration, like you Absolutely. feel what I'm saying. So, we celebrating for my brother Shea, and I'm celebrating too, and I'm celebrating for the team, like we like we the biggest. Absolutely, big BSF, and you're right. It's a beautiful thing to have someone's music live on. Like you know, it's a beautiful thing. Like on um, the intro, Shay did that beat. Like so, it's like crazy. It's like you, you like like bro, still working. Like and that's mm-hmm. fire, and people love it. So thank you, Shay. Yes, yes, and we're also celebrating you on the intro, front front page type shit, front page type shit. You know, so when people when they first click that album, when they first first press play you're in the first verses that they hear and the first voices that they see first names that they see so it's a very special thing we bless we chilling yes so um, congratulations on all your hard work you know everything that the behind the, the behind the scenes work that you put in today is the day where you get to have something to show for it right so today's a very special day it's a celebration i actually met you in buffalo two years ago when i was shooting in the studio with Shirley and benny so like mm-hmm. it's nice to double back we've both grown up in our career you know we have something to talk about today so it's nice to have an f- official conversation with you so i sense i know you be in buffalo um i met you in the studio out there i have a question for you who has a better food, Harford or Buffalo? Harford. Harford, yeah, Harford. Nothing like the home cooking, exactly, Harford. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Harford got better food than a lot of places. I go to places where they be like, ah, oh, it's down south, the food mm. gonna be busting. I'd rather my aunt make it. I feel you, exactly. Nothing like home cooking. And so what's the energy like in a BSF recording session? Like, you know, how does it feel in there? Like the rap Olympics, the best in the world, sparring, trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. You heard? Fire. Where did you Fire. record your piece for the album? I did it here. Mm. Yeah, I did it. I did it in the crib, mm-hmm, nice. like at, at our spot, nice. and it was dope because I sent it back like fairly fast. You know what I mean? Like we was excited. Like I got a chance to like to share that with the homies, mm. so that that's was cool. Dope. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Are you feel like more comfortable in your studio, or are you good wherever you go? But like, is there any different shooting at home? Honestly, like. I, Everywhere I go, like they tell you, like I was OT all that. I kick, I take my shirt off, I kick my shoes off, and then I pace the room like I own it. Mm-hmm. There you, know you go. I mean? Like that's how, I, that's 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 how I record, cause I, I I don't write really no more. So it's like I just need some space, some decent smoke, and I'ma just go through my motions. You feel what I'm saying? Unless like I'm with like the real top dog dudes, like I write my stuff so I could be fast and out of their way. Like I don't want to overstay my welcome mm-hmm. with certain people. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if it's like a environment for me or if I'm doing a feature or something like that, yeah, like that's how I'm rocking. It's good that you can adapt, you know, that, that's very important. And so how has it been on tour recently? Like, you know, how does it feel going out to all these touches, touching down in other states? And also, can you talk to artists about how important it is to get out of the state and, you know, touch a mic somewhere else? It's no music business here. So it's like if you in the music business, you need connections in other places where the music business is actually happening. You feel what I'm saying? So my thing be to like learn a little stuff when I'm there and like bring it back to the folks. You feel what I'm saying? So we could create like a little economy for ourselves like other states got. You feel what I'm saying? Our dudes in other states get money in their state. You feel what I'm saying? I get money anywhere but here. Y'all want a favor all the time here. Because y'all know me or not. Nah, I run a business. I got overhead. Overhead fees. Overhead fees. That's actually really smart. You, you're, you're a real one for doing that for me. overhead. And I ain't no sucker. <laughs> So y'all gonna have to give me what I need or it's not gonna happen. Like, I work hard, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I really honestly do. I ain't met an artist out here that work harder than me yet. I do this every day, all day. Do a set, don't take a nap, come back, take a drive like the first two or three myself, mm-hmm. sleep, wake up to another event, like at the place, might change in the parking lot. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm different. I'm programming. I'm possessed. I want a million dollars. Travel life, tour life is real different. It really like, do be like that. Glamorous. Like, we sleep in cars. Yo, we be so deep. The Airbnb people just canceled on us. They seen my little dreadhead crew. 
You know what I mean? They like, man, they canceled. We heard we ended up at some rinky dink. You know what I mean? Right. We ended up somewhere y'all didn't think base is going to stay at, but base is going right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's just part of it. My last question for you is, you're really a trailblazer and a pioneer for Connecticut. There's a lot of people, a lot of pop and artists, a lot of talent out here, but you're signed. Like, you know, you got that chain like you know you're official so how do you feel um is it do you feel like a source of inspiration or do you kind of feel like pressure to keep things going and bring like how do you feel like if nah i'm being myself like i'm regular like like i was trying to feed the crew before i was a rapper like like certain roads not new to me like it's bigger you feel what i'm saying but the same rules apply and i understand that so I'm just being myself and doing like what I feel is right. That's all. As you should. I Ain't respect no that. pressure. You know where I, like, I come from? You know what I used to do? That was the pressure. This is a blessing. You feel what I'm saying? Say that. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> Dope. That's amazing. I, I'm happy to hear that. And so my last question is, can I please have your autograph? Say that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another installment of Shooter Slick Mix. This will be available on Source by Swoop. I got my project signed, all right? Tell my mama I interviewed a rapper. Thank you Say for your that. time. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you. Big